Hello, Bulldogs. We are continuing to celebrate 100 years at our downtown campus, and next week we are hosting an alumni tailgate on the front lawn of the high school from 5 to 7 p.m. before the varsity football game, hosting Lake on October 14th. There will be hot dogs and light refreshments while supplies last, and t-shirts for the first 100 alumni who are able to register or have already registered for our new alumni online network. We look forward to continuing to celebrate each other and the Rossford history. Today, we look back at a few people and moments with athletics to go along with our tailgating theme. Next month, we will look at our award of distinction members, which added two last month. Go Bulldogs! And let's keep celebrating our 100 years together. We hope to see you next week. Now, I, I just can't tell you the, how the, the relationships after the sport is over for the next many, many, many years. That's the real story, because it goes on forever. I couldn't ask for uh, anything better to happen to me than having to come back here to Rossford and be part of the part of the be a part of the coaching staff, the teaching staff, and uh, part of the program. The band and the cheerleaders are an integral part of our team, and we were a team. It wasn't just the football team; it was the football team and the band and the cheerleaders. And we all rode the bus together for away games. And uh, it wouldn't be the same without them. We had some pretty big bands. There was 150 people in the band. And so yeah. they, you'd run down the middle of yeah. this, this lineup that they had. Yeah. Um, cheerleaders were always real good. My dad and Mr. Byler, the band director, I think sometimes band directors and football coaches might butt heads. And they, they were best friends. Yeah. Um, I think that they saw the that they were kind of in this in this show together, and Keith Byler's a legend around here, as well as anybody. Karen Swartz is the reason why girl sports began here, why it was on equal footing. She was definitely a pioneer. She definitely is still a part of every female who went through and played athletics here. She fought a lot for, for what she thought was right and to give the girls that equal opportunities. Anita Schufert, yeah. who um, took care, cheerleading advisor, took care of tickets. I mean, I know that sounds like, oh, that's not a big deal. But it really was because so many people came through and they only came through two doors. She was here for every event, whether it was volleyball whether it was basketball, girls, boys, you know, whatever. I think um, Anita probably spent the majority of her life in this building. Anita Schufritz did everything for this school. She lived for this school. It's nothing, Rossford. Second quarter, Rossford back in the red zone. Williams going to keep it. Quarterback not afraid of contact. Drops the shoulder, Rossford up 12 0. Later in the second, now a 19 7 lead for the Bulldogs, and Rossford looking for more. Williams connects with Kirkman underneath, and then Kirkman has room to run, breaks one tackle, gets into the end zone. 27 7 Rossford. They take the momentum in the break, and they don't look back. And here in Orville, after the Rossford Bulldogs' first ever playoff victory, 36 35. The final here now, Eric Davis, Chase Bainey. Guys, first ever playoff victory. Eric, we'll start with you. What does that mean to your school? It's unbelievable. You know, we've all been working for it for our entire lives since we've been playing football. We've always talked about it. And it's just so, I don't, I have, I'm speechless. I'm speechless right now. We all played our hearts out. And we had a great week at practice. We were all focused. This is our second playoff appearance. You know, uh, we won one in about like 100 years, so. It feel good to get another uh, win and make history. Any win's good, but obviously this is extra special being a home playoff team and, you know, kind of the manner and, and how we did it because, you know, it was sloppy. We made mistakes we had to overcome. And, you know, I think that's what I'm most proud of is, you know, we're able to overcome those things. And when we needed to make a couple plays, we we're able to do that. 